Hey everybody, Sponge Murphy here and welcome back to another Let's Build video. Now this week I am building up the latest terrain, the latest scenery that comes at issue 26 of the Mortal Realms magazine. Now I only got this like, yesterday or the day before and I've been really looking forward to getting some terrain built up for this. Um, and as a bonus, there is going to be another build at the end of this video so make sure to stay tuned for the end of that. Um, it's from a previous issue of Mortal Realms, but we'll get to that when it comes. Now, this is the Azerite Runes. Now, I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot more of this scenery kit uh, in future issues because you've seen in some of the leaks and in some of the pictures that they've given away that there is a lot of scenery in it, including the mausoleum parts, or excluding the maus mausoleum parts, there is a lot more coming from this kit. There's like a big bell thing and everything to come with it, a bigger statue, and probably more runes exactly like this as well. But as for building this, it came in one big sprue, and it was pretty easy. There wasn't anything that uh, would give me a bit of trouble. I just made sure to dry fit everything. Uh, they're big, chunky pieces, so everything actually slotted in pretty perfectly. Probably the longest part was um, clipping them off. There is a lot of little pieces connected to the sprues on it, or a lot of parts of it connected to the sprues. So it took a while to clip it off, took a while to clean it, but surprisingly, that was it, you know. As you can see, there's only a couple of parts that I really had to glue, maybe six parts, and this stuck really well. There was no bit sticking out and everything fitted really well. So I changed the camera, camera angle here. Now, I think I might switch this angle in the future because um, it's, a bit more, it's a bit more of a pleasant view, I think. So I might switch to that. Now, surprisingly, the roof on it, doesn't kind of slot in. I wasn't going to glue the roof onto this, and um, but I don't, I don't think there's any point in gluing it at all because it doesn't kind of slot in. If you glue it in, you're going to be kind of fitting it at your own way. So I went to get it pretty quick. Now, as you can see here, we moved on to the second scenery build in this video, and this is the mausoleum kit from issue 11 of the Mortal Realms. Now, this was a back issue that I missed when the virus hit, when lockdown hit for the first time. So I've got issue 11. But I haven't got any of the other issues that uh, come with the other part of the scene. So I think I'm two, is two issues I think I'm missing. And the other one is the second part of this. So I haven't got uh, the big gate piece. I haven't got the ground parts that these go on top of. So And I couldn't wait any longer. I really wanted to get this part built up. And I wanted to get it painted for some like photo shoots and everything like that. So I said, here, let's just throw it onto this week. We're doing a couple of scenery pieces. Why not throw this on it as well? And I... I'm very familiar with this. I built this when it was the Garden of Moor, and it is an absolute blast of a kit. It is. I've used it for scenery. I've used used big parts of it for base, and you've probably seen it on some of my models. And yeah, it's it goes together super easy as well. The only kind of parts that might be a little bit not tricky, but you have to make sure to get it just right is the little gargoyles because they don't slot onto a part. You kind of just have to fit it. Uh, kind of like a freehand fit and I just hold it until it stays a little bit but other than that went together really uh, easy like the other one very chunky so there wasn't too much complaints about that the only thing I will say to you if let me see if I have it here uh, yeah I'm not sure if you're going to see on this but on the corner pieces of the pointy parts these little parts snap off really really easily I think there's one that might be bent on here somewhere but I actually, I went to like hold this down like that to glue in another piece or to hold it. And I leaned on it like that and it bent up. So don't be surprised if a lot of these pointy parts end up coming off. Uh, even after you've painted them as well. It's my older ones. There's not too many pieces left over uh, of the sharp corner bits like that. And here they are all together. I couldn't fit them into my light box to get a good rotation uh, video. They were too big. So I had to do a big uh, pan and zoom uh, effect here. But overall, really nice pieces. This is a really good piece because I thought it was going to be way, way bigger, like bigger wise, uh, and I should have really put a model in there for scale, but it, it, it doesn't look as big when you're looking at it, and on the sprue you think, God, it's going to be very small, but it is pretty decently sized, I actually have it here, um, so the scale of it isn't too bad. Uh, as for the mausoleum kits, absolutely brilliant, I love them. So uh, let me know what you guys think about this week's build, I love building these terrain, these scenery pieces are going to look great for uh for photo shoots and for to make your models look good for the background as well but let me know what you guys think in the comment section below make sure to hit the like button and leave a comment if you haven't once again thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video